Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics, and we are looking today at a Vauxhall Insignia 2.0 CDTI again. And we're just going to be talking in particular about this Vauxhall brand or Opel and the vehicle service now message that will appear like that. Vehicle service soon, sorry. So this message doesn't actually mean the car needs a service. It can mean almost anything, basically. But uh, in my experience, it's always been one of two things. It's just either the glow plugs or the air mass meter, airflow meter. So I'm just going to switch on my Autel here. Just put it on charge because it's a little bit flat. Then we're going to go into the Vauxhall. And uh, we're going to run a diagnostic scan. So now it's just loading there. We can run a diagnostic scan. And we're just going to go to the engine instead of doing a full scan. Trouble codes. So we have a P0672 cylinder 2 glow plug malfunction. These glow plugs are a special type of glow plug, so if we go to live data, go to data display, and we should find it in the engine data, I think. So we're going to start the engine up. And if we go down through the systems here, we should be able to read some data saying about the uh, compression in each cylinder. Uh, the compression cylinder, uh, sensing cylinders. Um, and these are run by the, the glow plugs here. So let me see if I can find that in here. No, it's not in this section, don't look like. So we're going to go in the engine position data. Uh, these sort of things there can uh, vary on each car, they can be in different sort of areas. But there you go, we can see there, cylinder 1, 2, 3 and 4, and you can read the combustion pressure for each cylinder there. So these are red, which normally indicates there's something wrong, but I wouldn't say that's a problem there because, uh, let's click on the graph there, obviously it just means that the pressure is high, so if you switch the car off, the pressure should drop down to zero, or near enough. So these are a bit of a strange uh, glow plug, but regarding that they've got a sensor on them for the compression in each uh, combustion cylinder um, but you know um, it is handy, quite handy to look at there if you if you ha if you are having issues you can sort of guess which cylinder is uh, is losing your your compression and this is what the glow plugs actually look like the tops of them are slightly different bottoms are the same but the top ends are slightly different you've got these little different types of plugs and you got this sensor here on the top so we just got the bonnet open here and we're going to remove this engine cover so we're going to start the engine get it warm spray some WD-40 down there on it you can see we've had a busy week of in uh, glow plug changes there and we've only had one of these break, I think, somewhere. Where is it? We've got one here that did break somewhere. Oh, can't find that one. But yeah, busy times. Now we're back inside, we're just gonna hold it on about two and a half thousand RPM for a few minutes. And uh, so we don't want to be working on cold metal. It's absolutely freezing to touch when you touch the metal of the engine out there, so. 
um, just get it warmed up a little bit, make it a little bit safer and easier. Okay, so we're going to use some long nose pliers and just click it onto the top of this uh, plug here. Just pull that up. I'll just tuck that out of the way there. Now we can get down to the glow plug, which is just there. So you've got cylinder one, two, three, and four just there. Here we're going to use a 12 millimeter socket with an extension. I'm just going to push that down on there but nice and tight. Flick this the right way around so we can open it. And we'll give it a few turns. Nice thing about these glow plugs in this type, never really had any problems with these. The only single glow plug I can ever remember having trouble with is a uh, HDI 1.6. Most glow plugs are uh, pretty straightforward. As long as you do them, take a little few precautions like I done there before I started this one. VWs and these sort of ones are usually nicely nice, nice, uh, nice to come out. Okay, that slipped off the socket there, so I'm just going to grab it up with a pair of these pliers. So you can see a little bit of black burning there on the tip a little bit of redness you can see an actual burn right there on that side and there is a little bit of a lump there you can see uh, let's just try and get that to focus there's a little bit of a lump there on it sort of like a weld lump so I'm going to get a replacement glow plug and put it down See down there. Just insert it in. We're gonna twist it down by hand until it stops. Flick our ratchet back to the opposite direction, and we're just gonna give it the tiniest little nudge, five newton meters. We'll get our plug and just push it back in. Get it. It lined up there. And just push it all the way down. So you can see there there's not a lot of complicated tools there involved. Pliers, 12 mil socket, and your glow plug. These glow plugs are over £100 each, so they're not cheap. So now we can go in and clear the code here. That's uh, been stored from the old. Uh, Glow plug there. So now the code's all cleared, we're going to exit all of the live data we just went into there. And we can now take the car for a drive and hopefully we won't see any more service engine soon messages. Now once you clear the code before we change the glow plug, um, within five minutes, uh, a couple of minutes I'd say, uh, or a couple of restarts, you'd get that message come back. So now we're going to take it on drive, yeah? We've uh, just returned in here. And there's no service now message. So that's all on this car. And we'll see you on the next video.